Bong Hee tells Chiyun about Taewang's biological mother, Eri, and Chiyun cannot believe that in the past Sang Don dated a bargle and even has a son from that bargle. Then Bong Hee also blames Sang Don for the difficult life that Taewang has been living. But then Kang Chu tells Bong Hee that Taewang is not someone to be pitied because Taewang is the owner of the building where the Lee family lives. And Taewoong is also a successful man and has at least 10 million dollars. Bong Hee is quite shocked to hear this, and she even more shocked because Taewoong is the owner of the building where her family lives. Bong Hee tells his to Mandek and Gilri. Bong Hee also tells Mandek and Gilri that Taewoong is Sang Dan's biological son. The news about Taewoong being a successful man spreads throughout Chongyang, and Charin who finally finds out that Taewoong is a rich man and also Sang Dong's biological son feels very angry and annoyed at Taewoong. She feels that all this time Taewoong is steady testing her love for Taewoong. In this episode, it is also told about a post that is spread in the Jason Group bulletin. In the post, it is written, Jason Group's managing director So Kang Chu used company money to go abroad for an MBA, but in fact, major in Philip at New York Film School. Then, when he returns to the company, he hides the fact and he has done something else and is promoted to managing director. Doesn't that make sense? Isn't that embezzlement of company money? The post is immediately taken down, but 11 employees have read the post, and of course it is spread by word of mouth by 11 employees until almost all employees know about it. The chief secretary finds out the truth of the post and he reports to Xang Don that it is true that Kang Ju studied film and MBA at the same time, and Kang Ju graduates in both.